Chelsea 3-0 Bournemouth full-time. English Premier League the 26th of December 2016 1500. Pedro Brace inspires Premier League leaders to club record. Referee, Mike Jones. Goals. Pedro 24 feet. Hazard 49 feet. Cook 90 plus 3 feet. Antonio Conte might only have been Chelsea manager for six months but, in the club's entire 111-year history, he now stands alone in overseeing the longest winning sequence of league matches. A 12th straight victory also puts Chelsea within 180 minutes of Arsenal's all-time Premier League record, even if Conte quickly followed this emphatic 3-0 win against Bournemouth with the warning that such feats would be rendered meaningless if they do not remain at the top of the table. His team's advantage now stands at seven points and, with Antonio booming out around Stamford Bridge, the Shed End's latest hero did feel sufficiently emboldened to declare that a good message had been sent to the chasing pack. Suspensions meant that Chelsea were without both Diego Costa and Nagala Kante for the first time this season but, with Eden Hazard delivering a magnificent individual performance as the main striker, victory was rarely in doubt. I think a lot of people waited, that without two really important players, we could lose points in this game, said Conte. It didn't happen. I can count on all my players in the squad. I try in every game to make the best decision for the team without looking at the faces. The contrast between Conte and Jose Mourinho with largely the same group of players last season is stark and has now been well rehearsed, but perhaps of greater relevance is another comparison. Not since Mourinho himself arrived in the Premier League with such swagger in 2004 has a manager made such an immediately impressive impact on English football. Conte's tactical switch to a three-man defense has prompted most comment but underpinning Chelsea's success is something more subtle, the Italian's charismatic man management. His touchline energy has created an obvious connection with the Chelsea fans but, in his deft handling of the players, there was another example deep inside the second half here that was also instructive. With the match won, Victor Moses had an excellent chance but, having sprinted 50 yards to get into position to score, he blazed his attempted finish horribly wide. Conte, though, simply stood applauding on the edge of his technical area and also made a point of offering similarly visual appreciation for Moses and his work rate when he was later substituted. These Chelsea players now look utterly devoted to their new manager and it is seeping through in how they are performing. Hazard was super banned, crucially, is back playing both with a smile and his old flamboyance. Having controversially opted against starting Michi Batshuayi, it was also striking how Conte made a point both of bringing on the club's £33 million summer signing and then stressing that he would not be loaned out next month. In the future I trust in him, said Conte. He is a new player for Chelsea, to go on loan now is a defeat for the club and for me. Bournemouth manager Eddie Howe also made changes but was even more adventurous in mirroring Chelsea's three at the back. That gave Jack Wilshire added freedom to push forward from midfield and his intelligent passing and increasing match sharpness helped Bournemouth match Chelsea early in the game. Hazard, though, made the greatest individual difference and, having orchestrated several rapid counter-attacks, he created the first clear chance by passing to Pedro, who shot just wide. Hazard followed that with a quite sublime moment of skill to first turn several Bournemouth players and then slalom through much of the visitors' defense to help force a corner.